Proceeding with the next set of CSET questions. Now, first question here is a simple question which we can solve by hit and trial. So, let's substitute it with 3 and you would have the following numbers that would come up and the sum of these numbers would be 133 that matches here. So, you would have 3 as the right option. The next question is a mathematical operation. So, simple number series problem made further easy by giving a hint that is the prime number. So, it is 13 plus 1, 17 plus 1. 19 plus 1, 23 plus 1, then you would have 29 plus 1, 31 plus 1 and finally you would have 37 plus 1 which is 38. In this question we have to find out the arithmetic progression and the value of that progression we do not know what would be the result but it should be the closest value to 195. Now n into n plus 1 by 2 the closest value to 195 is 210. Now 210 minus 195 gives you 15. That means the two pages which are torn should be the sum of those two pages should be 15. So those pages would be 7 and 8. So 7 and 8 becomes your right option. Now this is a simple series where you have A, B, A, B, A. Then you would have B, C, B, C, B. Then you would have C, D, C, D, C and D, E, D, E, D. So you would have A, C, C, E as the right option or the missing alphabets that would be there. The next is you have A, 3, B, C, D, E, 2, F and the sum of these letters gives me 15902. Now all the letters must be greater than 3. So I have let's assume C and F to be 4 and 8. So 4 and 8 gives you 12. So 1 carry over. Now B should be equal to 7. So this would give me 0. So another carry over. This would make 4 and the total line here. So E would be 5. So A and D would be 6 and 9. So the difference between A and D would be 9 minus 6 which is 3. Either of those could be 9. Okay. So 3 would be the right option. Now this is a very very interesting question. There are not more than 2 figures on any page of 100 and uh, of 51 pages book that means the maximum number of pages can be 102 but there is at least one figure on every page that means there are 51 figures that are there now are there more than 100 figures in that book so two none of the statements together can suffice it because it clearly says the minimum number of pages would be 51 okay so are there more than 100 figures in the book is not true so s1 and s2 together are not sufficient to answer this question a very very important question indeed here is an interesting problem i have the average marks that are given so 9 girls plus 8 boys divided by girls plus boys gives me 8.8 .8. In the next case, I have 8 girls plus 7 boys divided by girls plus boys gives me x. Now, how do I find out x? We have two equations, but there are three unknowns that are there. So, I'll just simplify the first equation that is 9g plus 8b gives me 8.8g .8 plus b. Now what I'll do is I'll transfer 1g and 1b here. So it makes 8g plus 7b. I'll subtract 1g, uh, 1g and 1b from here. So it would be 7.8g plus b. Now I'll take the g plus b in the denominator. So 8g plus 7b divided by g plus b. This is equal to what has been asked here. So x would be equal to 7.8. So 7.8 is my right option here. Option here. The next is 12th January is a Sunday. Now consider it to be a leap year. So you would have 19 days in January. January, February, March, April, May, June and July. Okay. So 19 plus 29 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 30 plus uh, 12 okay when I add these this gives me a number which is 
wholly divisible by 7 so it would be uh, wholly divisible by 7 that means 12th July is a Sunday if the year is a leap year. You can simply add these numbers and divide it by 7 and see that there is no remainder. Since there is no remainder, 12th July is a Sunday and I have taken February as 29 and therefore it's a leap year. And however, if you want to apply, this question is from this year itself. So this year, 12th January was a Sunday and 12th July is, was a Sunday as well. The next question is uh, based on the passages, the group of questions based on passages. Now here we are talking about the labor departing from agriculture towards unregistered manufacturing sector and uh, the new kind of jobs that are being created. However, India would need a new series of jobs. So the idea here is increased social sector spending is an imperative for large scale job creation which focuses on the jobs which could be based in e-commerce health and education sector so d is the right option the next question talks about the right to privacy uh, the, the right to privacy has been discussed here explicitly and it clearly states that the state should have some institutions to ensure its appropriate role in the digital society as well as state should not ensure should ensure that parties uh, do not violate the pri uh, privacy of the citizen so one and two are the right options the next question is about the water issues again the water is coming from the rivers and other wetlands and it has been seen that water has been a major issue and efforts are made at engineering water systems for increasing water supply rather than strengthening the capacities of the ecological system and here is where the answer lies in so the correct answer is to reinforce uh, wetlands as more than just an open source of water where we are talking about increasing the strengths and the capabilities of ecological systems the next question is on asset allocation now when we are focusing on asset allocation we are talking about the investment patterns and it is saying that no asset is risk-free so the best way to ensure uh, that there is no uh, or the risk is minimized is by distributing your wealth across all different uh, assets so a would be the right option the next question focuses on genetically modified crops and there were two questions in line with this so biotechnology regulation is a constantly evolving process and has taken into account the socio-economic aspects that has been clearly mentioned uh, in the passage here so one and three are the right options for this question and the next question says what is best implied from the passage that biotechnology's role is not confined to the current priorities of the genetically modified crops and the development of those which is clearly given in the first line of the passage itself so that is the answer for this the next question is an interesting question how many zeros are there at the end of the following product so first count the zeros itself so you'll have one two three four five and six so six their zeros are there now two into five would again make zero so how many twos one two then you would have another two here and two two here okay so you would have a one two here then you would have another two here and another two here and these two must be in the zeros itself if they are not in the zeros this cannot be actually resolved because if it is 45 i cannot take the two here because this is this can go only with the multiplication of two so one two here 2 into 2, 2, 2 2's here and 1, 2 here. Okay, so 1, 1, 1, 1, 4 2's are there. So how many zeros would be there? 6 plus 4, that is 10 zeros would come. The next question is, this is an interesting question. X, Y, Z be a 3 digit number where X plus Y plus Z is not a multiple of 3. Now, this is the number I put it in the tens units and hundreds form so it is 100x plus uh, 100x 10, uh, 10y and z then i would have 100y 
ten z and x, and then I would have hundred z, ten x and y. So it would make hundred and eleven x plus y plus z is not divisible by. So this is divisible by three. This is also divisible by thirty-seven into three, and then you would have x plus y plus z. It's all uh, also divisible by this. So the only number it is not divisible here is nine. So nine would be the right option here. So it's asking which is not divisible. So this not is important. Now one one three one plus one plus one is three. So it's divisible by three and thirty-seven into three is again one one one. The next is. Which of the following is the largest natural number? Now, definitely, if I am adding something to two hundred and nine, okay, so this number would be small. But if I am subtracting from a bigger number, two hundred and eighteen, this would be a bigger number as compared to these two. So the addition numbers are removed. Now again, this r minus two hundred and eighteen would be greater than p minus two hundred and sixteen. So R would be greater than P, obviously. So which of the following natural number is greatest? You would have R, which would be the greatest number. And the last question in this series is further interesting. You have five digits that are there. You have to create a five-digit prime number. Now without repetition. So what I do is I add one plus two plus three plus four plus five. How much it gives me? It gives me. Uh, you would have. Uh, five and five, ten and fifteen. So this is fifteen, and fifteen is divisible by three. That means the sum of these numbers, since they are always divisible by three, I cannot create a prime number by any of the combination. So there can be a zero prime number that can be made out of the combination of these numbers. We would be covering the next set of C set paper in the upcoming class. So stay tuned. Have a wonderful day.